Welcome, and my name is Ju Young Park. I was born in Los Angeles, but I am doing my business in South Korea, so they're saying that I'm from South Korea, right? But I'm actually from LA. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I want to tell you a little bit about what I did and um, how I started Atomy and my process in Atomy and the difficulties that I faced but why I persevered, okay? Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. So my parents, they moved to the States about 35 years ago to pursue the American dream, right? And when they came here, they weren't able to speak English very well, so I started translating for them. And during that process, I fell in love with business because I went to the bank with them. I went to, you know, the real estate agents to look at different businesses and I would do all the paperwork for them. I started that when I was about in third grade. How old? Yeah, I would follow my mom around. She would sit me down and she'd be like, all right, Jew, we need this kind of loan. And I would say, all right, my mom needs this, this. And I would tell her, all right, this is the interest rate. This is the premium and this is how much you need to pay. And I, I would be in that um, all the time. So I figured out... You know, when I grow up, I want to be a CEO. You know, I want, I want to start my own business. But I started to realize that it wasn't as easy as uh, people thought because I helped them and they worked really hard. You know, everybody that I see working today, they're, they're putting everything that they have into the business, spending their time learning and growing. But it seems like it's not always the perfect outcome. So I remember my parents called me when I was in high, um, high school, and they told me, you know, you need to buy a lawyer, and we need to do some paperwork. And I said, what? I need to get a lawyer. Why? They said, we need to file for bankruptcy. What? What, what did I have to file for? <laughs> yeah, but did they work hard, yes or no? Yes, they worked really hard. But in the end, that was the outcome. So I was very disappointed uh, because I knew that if, I, if, I, if my parents aren't going to be able to become successful, then, man, I'm going to have a really hard time because they're much more diligent and hardworking than I am. But that was my reality. And during that time, I had to decide, what am I going to do? You know, what, what do I need to do? And I set a goal for myself when I was 17. I said, I'm going to retire when I'm 40. That was my goal. So I had some time, right? I had 23 years to look for whatever business that I needed to do to create that residual and passive income. But I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I went to university, and I graduated, and I decided to go to Korea to learn some Korean and to learn the culture. And that's where I met my wife. But when I met my wife, that was the turning point for me because I was still looking, right? I was, it was nine years in looking for whatever business that I needed to do. And I learned about uh, network marketing and all these things, but I never started. And I never, I never wanted to do network marketing because I was very, very biased. Um, I always thought that it was a scam, right? But when I started um, looking into these things, uh, I, I thought, man, this would be a good, good thing, but it was always too expensive for me. And people around me, if it's too expensive for me, then what's it going to be for my friends? It's going to be too expensive for them. But when I got married, my wife, she told me that she needed something called a deep cleanser. Do, do you guys know what a deep cleanser is? Yes. For me, that was the first time. I never knew what a deep cleanser was, you know. I didn't realize there were so many different types of soaps, right? So I thought to myself, okay, that's fine. Let's go buy it. And we went to the department store, to the mall, and she started looking for different products. And I started to realize, man, deep cleansing, this stuff is expensive. Um, the stuff that she was looking at, it was about $70 to $100 per bottle. How much? 70 to 100 per bottle. Now, I understand expensive skincare products. Why? Because when you apply it to your face, it stays on all day and moisturizes. But deep cleansing, how long do you apply it on your face? Like 30 seconds? And then you wash it off, right? So I didn't understand the, the, the need for buying an expensive product. But in the end, she bought a $100 deep cleanser. So we took that home and she was using it. So I started really analyzing the product. I started looking at her. Every time she went to the restroom at night, when she would wash her face, she would come back out and her eyes would be bloodshot. They'd be red. And I said, why are your eyes red? This is a hundred dollar product. Your eyes should not be red. And she told me, you know, it's because she had to wash her face multiple times to get the mascara off. And I said, oh, okay. So even a hundred dollar product, this is the result. Okay. But a few weeks later, we ended up going to my mother-in-law's, but she forgot her deep cleanser. Uh, we were going to go back home. Thank God we didn't, right? Because that's where the turning point 
for my life changed. Uh, my wife went to the restroom. Again, she came back out, but this time her eyes were very clear, very clean. And I said, oh, what did you use? She said, I don't know, this stuff in the restroom. And she showed me the little tube, and it was an atomy deep cleanser. And that's when I asked her, I said, how did you like it? She said, it's two times better than what I'm using at home. I said, really? And I was very hesitant to ask her the next question. What do you think the next question was? Uh, do you want to use it? That was the next question, right? And I didn't want to ask her. Why? If the product that I bought her earlier was $100, and this is two times better, then, then this is going to be like $200. I didn't want to buy it for her, right? So I was really hesitant, but I said, you know, um, do, you, do you want to buy it? Do you want to use this? And she said, yes, I do. I said, really? All right, all right, let's go find out how much it is. And to my surprise, in Korea, it was $14.80 per bottle. So you know what I said to her? I said, use it for the rest of your life, please. <laughs> right? And that's when my life started to change because I knew I was looking for that item, right? I had a dream. I wanted to build this business, but I never knew what I wanted to start with. Because I didn't have capital, I didn't have experience, I didn't have anything special. But I had the passion and the desire to become successful. That was it. And when she told me that this was a network marketing company, I went online and I went on the Atomy US website and I saw the motto, you know, the CEO Park's uh, lecture that we just saw. I saw the motto and I said, wow, what kind of company says these kinds of things? Um, and then I went onto the site, looked at the VOD, and that's when I started to cry. I literally, I had tears coming out of my eyes. It was about one in the morning, and I, I, I remember vividly picking up my laptop, going to the bedroom, and my wife was reading a book. And I said to her, I said, Nadi, you need to watch this, and we're going we're gonna to do this business, and I want you to do it with me. And she said, what the heck is this? You know, In Korea, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same in the States as well, but in Korea, network marketing is pretty much frowned upon, you know, not a lot of people like it. And she said, you want to do network marketing? And I said, oh, this is different, you know, I, I, I guarantee you that we'll be able to become successful in this business. And I told her about these things, and she said, okay, let's do it. Now, I want to break that down to you, you know, I want to talk to you about why I started, because that's a big, um, a lot of people are very surprised that I started network marketing company. A, a network marketing business. And I'm pretty sure that everybody here today, your peers, your friends, family will be surprised that you are also involved in network marketing. And for people who are here for the first time, let me try to break it down for you, right? Um, I think business is very simple. Business, you make a lot of money if you have what? Lots of consumers. You have to close your doors when? When you have no consumers, right? You're selling a product or a service. Now the question is, can you change consumer habit? Can you, do you have the ability as a business owner to change the consuming habit of individuals that you encounter? And the answer is no. Not a lot of people have that kind of opportunity. They don't have that product. That's what happened to my parents. They were doing multiple businesses, but in the end, they had to change businesses because of competition. They had to do this and this, but in the end, they closed their doors as well and had to file for bankruptcy because there wasn't enough money coming out. Now you see this picture up here about consumer habit and how it works. Let me tell you, if I say, if I say hamburgers, what company comes to your head? <laughs> McDonald's, right? Did you study McDonald's? Did you take McDonald's 101? No, if I say coffee, what do you think about? <laughs> Starbucks, right? Did you study Starbucks? No, what, what have they done? They've changed your consuming habit through marketing. So if you see a, my name is Jew, right? Jew coffee, and you see Starbucks, where are you going to go? What, you're not going to come to my store? <laughs> it's, it's very simple. You see two stores, you're going to go to the one that you're familiar with. That's, that's how it works. So the market is already set. So the only way that you can become successful is if you have a tool that is able to change consuming habit. That's the key. And when my wife who was very picky about what she used, who was using a $100 product, decided to change over to a $14 product that she didn't know the name of the company, and it was just through pure, what, experience. I knew I had an item, 
And that's why you guys have the same opportunity to become successful. Because you are lucky enough to have been invited to this lecture. You are lucky enough to have been invited to try these products that can change not only your consuming habit, but the habits of individuals around you. So let's think about it, okay? Let's think about this. You becoming a member, how much did it cost you? It didn't cost you anything, right? Every month, do you have to pay rent? Do you have an online maintenance fee? You don't have anything. So what does that mean? That means that you have unlimited opportunity to create independent business owners without the pressure or pressuring them to do X, Y, and Z. Right? Yes. Do you guys feel that? Yes. That's why you guys have a higher percentage of success because you have the opportunity to invite everybody. If they don't have any experience, does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. All that matters here today is, what is your dream? You know, why are you here today? Why are you here today? And that's what I want to emphasize today. Because for me, when I met Adamy, I had tears running down my eyes because I remembered the time when I was younger. I remembered how my parents were struggling to make ends meet. And I remember having to do these things for them. Starting from the third grade, I stayed home alone, right? Everybody's working, so my parents are working until 3 in the morning. If I'm lucky and I stay up, I can see them. And then when I wake up in the morning, are they there or are they gone? They're gone. They got to go work. So they're gone, but in the middle of the night, I remember waking up one day, and, and from the room next door, I hear my mom weeping. She's crying. And that's, that's when my life changed. In front of me, my mom was very strong. Right. I thought she was able to do anything. I thought she was just full of optimism, and she was always telling me everything's okay. But I remember that night, I remember her prayer. And all she could do was just repeat, Lord, this is so hard. Lord, help me. Lord, this is so hard. Lord, help me. And that's all I remember. And that's why I had those tears running down my eyes, because I wanted to change my life. I wanted to help my family change their life, but there was no opportunity for me. I didn't believe that there was something that I can get into that would help bring about change. But when I saw Adamy, I saw that it was something that would change not only my life, but the lives of people that I loved around me. Do you guys believe that? Yes. So... My desire for success was real because I remember I didn't want that kind of life for my kids. You know? I remember this happened, this happened, and all of a sudden I was in a shelter with my mom. We didn't have a house. We had to go in and out. And I knew that this wasn't an experience that I wanted to give to my kids. And these were the driving factors for me. So let me tell you a little story. Let's say that you're living in a three-story house. You're on the third floor. You wake up in the middle of the night. You're a little thirsty. If you're a little bit thirsty, are you going to go to the first floor for, to get some water? Or are you going to go back to bed? You're going to go back to bed, right? But let's say you wake up again. This time, man, you're really thirsty. If you don't drink that cup of water, you feel like you're going to die. What are you going to do? You're going to go downstairs, yes or no? Yes. How thirsty are you? How thirsty are you? No matter how great Adamy is, no matter if Adamy can change consuming habit, it's about you. What are you willing to do to get to that place of change? If you want to change, then it starts with you. And I want to be real with all of you today because Adamy has already created a system for success for every individual in this room and around the globe. But that's not, that's not the issue. The issue is, are you going to take this opportunity to bring about that change in your personal life? So that's what I started to do. Right? I thought to myself, all right, what do I have to do? Yeah. How, do I, how do I do this business? I had no idea 
how to do network marketing. I didn't know how to do it. So I just started by what? Going to YouTube. <laughs> exactly. I went to YouTube and I looked up binary system. And I said, wow, well, okay, how do I do this? How do I register people? I didn't even realize that there was a center. I didn't realize any of that. So I went online and I saw, and, I, and then I started to introduce the products that I had personally experienced to other individuals around me. And I talked to stay-at-home moms, and I would talk to them. I said, um, I, would, I was tutoring in Korea, and I was teaching English. So as I was teaching English, I would create the subject of business, residual income, within our lecture, right, within our talks. <laughs> yeah, right? And then I talked to them, and I said, so would you be interested in doing a business if it didn't cost you anything and, had the, and you had the opportunity to make $300, $500 a month? Do you think they said no or yes? They said, yes, I want to get a part-time job, but nobody will take me because my hours are so chaotic because I have to go pick up the kids, drop off the kids, do this and this. But if there's a business that I can be a part of and it's free with great products, why not? And I said, well, let me tell you about Atomy. And that's how I started my business. I started talking to them about the reality of this business, about changing consuming habit, and the future of distribution. And I always tell everybody that Atomy is the future distribution, it's the future of distribution. Why? Back in the day, when you guys went to a coffee shop, let me tell you about Korea, right? When you go to a coffee shop in Korea, everybody has great service, right? Everybody's very polite, even here, right? Everybody's very polite and they give you great service. But after everybody does that, you have to draw in more consumers. So what do you do? You drink a cup of coffee and then they give you a coupon now, right? One stamp, two stamp, three stamp, 10 stamps later, what do you get? You get a free cup of coffee, right? So everybody's competing against each other. And then what happens? You get that plus what? The sizes start going up and the cost starts going down. So where's the line? Where's the line? It starts to the point where even at the Walmarts of Korea, now they're giving you cash. They'll give you coupons now. Yeah. Not just cash back, but they give you their dollars, right? Like EMAR dollars, or it can be Walmart dollars. So what is that? They're initially giving money back to the consumers now. So what's Atomy doing right now? What, what's Atomy doing? We're, Atomy is giving cash back to who? Consumers. That's the future of distribution now. It's no longer making a margin off of a product that you sell, but it is continuing to build and it's a rebate system. So that's how we need to think about this, okay? So when I started Atomy, I started telling each individual and I started setting daily goals. So what do you all do every day? If you have a goal, if you have a goal to accomplish something, to read 10 books a year, then what do you do? Do you try to read all your books in November and December? <laughs> Usually, right? <laughs> but then what happens? You don't get to read all your books. So you have to pace yourself, right? So what is the Atomy pace that you need to create? And this is what I tell my partners. Everybody asks me this question. It's very simple. They say, how did you become so successful so quickly, right? I started in 2013. February. Um, in nine months, I became a sales master. And then in a year and a half, I became a member of the Leaders Club, making 100K a year. And then three and a half years later, when I was 29, I went into the Royal Leaders Club. Right? But everybody asks me, how did you become so successful so quickly? Well, this is very simple. I didn't sleep, right? <laughs> I continue to work and work and work. And that's the beauty of Atomy. It goes at your pace. If you're willing to work 10 hours a day, then Atomy will give you a return of 10 hours a day. If you're willing to work two hours a day, Atomy will give you a return of two hours a day. But the speed doesn't matter. Why? Because there is an income ceiling. Yeah, you can get there faster, but it doesn't really matter. Why? because everybody's gonna end up in the same place. So it's about consistency, right? It's about consistency. So a lot of people say, I don't have that passion like you have, you know? I don't have that drive like you have. 
how can I become successful? And I tell them it's about consistency. You don't, if, if you don't have passion, then you need at least consistency. So I tell my partners, you have 10 days. Every 10 days, find one consumer. Is that doable, yes or no? Yes. That's very simple. You can't tell me you can't find a person who needs a toothbrush. <laughs> You're telling me you can't find somebody who needs to what? Wash their hair? Who needs to brush their teeth? Of course you can. And how many days do you have? You have 10 days, right? So I said, start a 36-month program, right? You have 36 months to create one consumer every 10 days. And once that consumer has been made, now step two is to turn that consumer in the next three months into an auto-consumer, right? Somebody who sees the value in the products, sees that this is absolute price and quality, and sees that, that they will continue to use this and learning how to make those online purchases online, okay? Now you have three months. So in three months' time, what do you think will happen? That individual, as they see the value, they will start sharing with other individuals around them. And then that's what you call duplication. So does this sound difficult? It's so easy. But why is it so difficult? Because we are so concerned about what people think about us. Is that true or no? Yes. Yeah, you guys are, we are all so worried about what is she going to think about me if I say, wow, you should try this. Like, why? <laughs> because it's good. <laughs> why? Why are you coming to me to sell me something? But you can be real with them and say, listen, I don't make a dime off of you buying this product. Everybody buys this product at the same price. So if you benefit by using this product as a member, you tell me why you don't want to use it then. Can they give you a good reason, yes or no? No. They cannot give you a good reason why they don't want to use it. It's just blatantly, I just don't want to use it, right? But you can explain to them why it is something that you're doing and how they can benefit from it. And it becomes a win-win situation. And that's what you do, 10 days, one person, duplicate them, and continue the process consistently for 36 months. If you do that, then you, became a, you become what? A sales master. You create passive income, passive income of $2,000 a month. Is that, is that small or is that a large amount of money? It's large. Let's look at this chart, right? It says active income, one, passive income, five. Okay. So all the new members and people who are working right now, let's, let's think about this. The, the job that you're working and the income that you have right now, it's all active income, right? If you don't go to work today, what's going to happen to your uh, bank account? No money. no money, right? Because you're all the way over there at one. Now everybody's dream is to get to five, right? So getting to five is this. You don't have to work, you just have to stay alive, right? And every day, what happens? You've created a system where income comes to you, right? Everybody understands this. But how, what, what kinds of work, what jobs, what opportunities are there right now that you can be a part of that will create that outcome? I couldn't think of a single one because I was broke. I didn't have any money. I didn't have any property where I can get rent. I didn't have any investments where I can get dividends from. I didn't have anything. All I had was just my passion. But that didn't get me much, right? Because I didn't have the right tools to get to where I wanted to go. But today, I'm telling you that you can get from one, two, three, four, all the way to five. But we all start where? At one. We all start at one. There is no such thing as just jumping to five. So you have to make a daily goal and you have to be consistent with that goal. It's not about how you feel, but it's rather what you have to do to get to where you want to go, right? If you want to create, I was talking about reading a book, right? Or if you want to go on a diet, all right? Let's say you want to lose a few pounds or gain a few pounds of muscle. If you continue to eat, and continue to do the things that you've been doing for the past six months, what do you think will happen next six months? <laughs> you're, 
you're going to look exactly the same in the mirror. But if you're desiring to lose a few pounds, then what do you have to do? You have to first change your habits. You have to decide to make time to get up a little bit earlier, to go for a jog, do a little cardio, and think about what it is that you're consuming to maintain the right calories. Yes or no? Yes. It's the exact same anatomy. In order to get to the passive income, you have to do work. What kind of work do you have to do? You have to build consumers. That is the end game, building consumers. Without consumers, you have no business. But with consumers, you create passive income. So how is it passive income then? A lot of people are very, um, they don't understand why I call it passive income. They say, so you don't have to do anything and you still make money for the rest of your life? And I say, yes. If you get to a certain level, but before you get to that level, you have to what? Put in the work. So how do you, why do you, why do I consider it passive income? Because of this. Let's say that you guys are my partners, okay? Let's say that you all are making 10000 $20,000, $30,000 a month right now. Okay? How does it feel? Yeah. Feels great, right? But one day, I, I get up in front of you all and I say, listen, please terminate your account. We don't need to do that to me anymore. What are you going to say to me? Are you crazy, right? You'll say, you terminate your account. I'm not terminating mine. Right? And let's say that I go away. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And I don't terminate my account either. And I go away. I move, up, move to Australia or something, right? But you all continue to work. Do I have passive income, yes or no? Yes. yes. Will my income continue to grow, yes or no? Yes. yes. That is why this business works. Because from the bottom, it's sustainable. Okay? In all different businesses, the bottom, it is not sustainable. Why? Because there are registration fees, there are maintenance fees, and individuals get into this system for the hope of making money. So what happens when you don't make money? You quit. But anatomy, you're not here for the hope of making money. You're here because the product gives you value. So even if you don't make a dime, you're going to still, what, continue to use the product. Is that, do you agree with this? Yes. That is the reason why it is sustainable. Because everybody that uses the Atomy product sees value in the product, and therefore, they start switching on their giant inside. They're like, whoa, you're telling me that I can make money even though I don't know how to network, even though I don't know how to sell, even though I don't have any of these experiences? Man, that'd be great, but I don't know where to start. Is that a problem? No. You just invite them where? Here. You invite them to the seminars. You invite them to the VODs. You sit down with them, and you turn on a video of somebody explaining it to them, and you benefit the same. So you don't have to be a good lecturer. You don't even know how to, you don't even need to learn how to speak that language. Right? How great is this business? Even if you can't speak English, you can turn on what? Yeah, turn on YouTube and turn on, you can turn on my VOD, right? Show that video to them. And I'm working for you. <laughs> this is the beauty of Atomy, where everybody is working together to create something that is beyond them. And this is not possible with other businesses. Because in the very bottom, 10 years later, let's say that there is nobody else to register in the world. What happens then? Does it crumble? Does it go away? What happens when the patents all go away? What happens when the patents expire? Have you guys thought about things like this? Those were my first questions when I started Anatomy. And I demanded these answers. I said, listen, I'm not going to waste five years of my life doing a business that's going to crumble ten years later. I'd rather invest my time doing something else. And I asked them, I said, you know, tell me why this is sustainable. And they, they would tell me. They said, oh. some of my sponsors would say, you know, we have a great patent on these products. I said, patents go away. They said, really? I said, yeah. <laughs> And then I talked to them, and then I started realizing Atomy works because there cannot be an Atomy 2.0. There cannot be a what? There cannot be an Atomy 2.0. So why is that? Why don't you think that's possible, they asked me. And I tell them the logic behind it. Uh, we heard 
um, Kim Chi Bong Deppio Nim, right, uh, chairman, talking about Comar and the products that they're making. Do you think a company will give you absolute price from the factory if you don't have a large consumer base? No, it's impossible. If I want to buy a hundred deep cleansings to sell, and Atomy wants to buy 10 million, who's going to get a better deal? Who's going to get a better deal? Yeah, that's simple logic, right? But that's what it's become. Atomy was lucky enough to have the opportunity to get those deals in the beginning because of a relationship. And as time went by, we now have millions of members globally. So we're able to what? Become a true distribution hub. Right? We're talking about global sourcing. When something is great in this country, we can take it, import it, or we can bring something here and export it. And everybody gets a great deal because we have the consuming power. So every factory, every company wants what? Their products to be sold through who? Through Atomy. And they're able to what? Maintain absolute price because we have no overhead. Our expenses are very, very, very low. So therefore, Nobody can copy what we're doing because if they want Atomy skincare products, they have to invest in a billion dollar, they have to invest in a machine, the RT radiation um, technology that we have to get that product. But who in the right mind is going to compete with a company who's selling a good for, what is it in, in the States, $92 you said, right? Nobody's going to be able to compete. Because they're going to have to start a network marketing company, and then they're going to have to start building a consumer base, and then they're going to have to start, what? Marketing. It's not possible. So therefore, you can reassure yourself that, wow, 10 years later, Atomy will still be here. 20 years later, Atomy will still be here. And I'll be continuing to make my residual income. But you have to get started now. Why? Because when everybody understands and hears this, do you think they'll start the business or do you think they'll be like, oh, let me wait? What do you think? They're going to start. And when this becomes information for the public, for everybody, then it's what happens to you then? Your opportunity of success goes lower and lower and lower because what? Everybody's doing it now. So it's great that everybody hates network marketing. <laughs> because if they loved it, you wouldn't be here. You have to think about it positively. Because if everybody's like, wow, network marketing, yeah, let's do it. Then everybody would already be registered. Everybody would already be doing it. And then it would be just like every other chain of information where it gets to me last. Right? Everybody's like, oh, you, you just now invested in that company? I invested three years ago. I'm like, oh, dang it. Too late. Right? It's the same thing. Atomy is just now starting. And you all have the opportunity to become Leaders Club members and Royal Leaders Club members, not because of your own personal ability, but because the system itself is created in a way where everybody's abilities becomes yours. So think about it this way. The future is no longer in the hands of individuals with information and knowledge and skill. It is not. For example, long time ago, if you had a group of five friends and you guys were debating or having an issue about a question about history or something, and you had a smart friend and they told you an answer, would you rebuttal? No, you just be like, oh, you just think that that's true because he's smart, because he knows, right? But is that true today? No, what do we do? We get out of our smartphone and we search. So it doesn't matter what you know because Google will tell me everything. It doesn't work like that anymore. So this is what I tell my, uh, my partners. I say, listen, Atomy is different, okay? Atomy is not like what we used to think. Because in network marketing, only the very skilled individuals were successful. Individuals with the right network were successful. Individuals who would be successful regardless of doing network marketing were the ones who were successful. And that is the truth. Because that's how the compensation plans were created because there were sponsorships. But in Atomy, it is not like that. It is like this. If I gave you all a test today, let's say that, repeat this with me, okay? It's cheap, it's good, you should try it. 
All right, talk to, say that to the person next to you. Ready, set, go. Was that hard? Right, you, you can put in the effort to do this. Now, now try this. Now do the same thing. Say the same thing, okay? Say the same thing, but this time in Korean. Ready, set, go. Oh, see? That's the difference between ability and skills, right? You can put in all the effort that you want, but if you don't have the ability of the Korean language, then what happens? You're stuck. So I'm telling you today that with hard work, you can become successful in anatomy. It's not just about your ability. It's like me giving you a test, okay? Long time ago, your score on that test determined your aptitude, right? So if you got a 70, then you're a 70-point student, right? If you got a 60, then you're a D student, right? If you got a, if you got a 100, then you're an A-plus student. And nobody can refuse or rebuttal that, right? But if the teacher said, today we're going to have an open book test. We're going to have an open online test. You can cheat off your friend. Whatever answer you put down, I will accept it as yours. How's that feel? Feels weird, right? You feel like you're cheating, right? But that's atomy. Atomy is giving you an open book test. If you don't have the ability to sell, does it matter? No. Why? Because as you continue to recruit your other partners, somebody in your downline inevitably will be able to sell. If you can't speak well, does it matter? No, because it's inevitable that somebody in your downline is going to be a great speaker. Everybody's abilities becomes whose? Yours. It's, it's no longer about your skill and ability, but rather, are you willing to put in the hard work to say, wow, this product, wow, very good. Try it. And they're like, can you explain it to me? I have no clue. Come on, let's go. Somebody will explain it to you. But what happens? It still becomes your PV, unlimited, regardless of country. And we all get to go to the same place of the PV ceiling, of the income ceiling of $50,000 a month. <laughs> After hearing this, how do you guys feel? Do you feel you like you can do this? Don't give up on your dream. Start thinking about what it is that you wanted and write that down because I promise you through Atomy, you'll be able to accomplish those dreams without an issue. Write your desires down, write your goals down and be consistent every day, even though you don't want to wake up, even though it's raining outside, even though it's cold outside, what do you do? You have to still get up and put in the work for just 36 months and I guarantee you that you will be able to make a passive income of $2,000 a month. But if you work harder and more diligent, then you'll be able to create a larger income at a more faster speed. It's about what you want and Adam will give you everything that you put in, I guarantee you, because I started from the very bottom. I invested 300 hours during the first month when I did Atomy, and I got paid $73.30. <laughs> how much did I get paid? For how many hours of work? 300 hours of work. And I was excited. I said, wow! Atomy is working. This is great because I understood the compensation plan. I understood in order to get that, what, first commission, I had to have 12 individuals on my left, 12 individuals on my right who became consumers. And I knew with 12 and 12, 24 individuals, I would be able to create a large consumer base. So I was very happy. It wasn't about just registering people, but it was about following up, talking with them, and getting them to become a part of this process with me. 
And that's why that $75, that $73.30 turned into what I'm making now, over, over $200,000 a year. So thank you all for coming, okay? Thank you for being a part of this vision. And I guarantee you that your dreams will become reality through this tool. So don't give up. Keep persevering and keep pushing, okay? Yeah. Thank you very much.